what's going on everyone and welcome back to theme deck tuesday i know it has been a little while but that is because i was just taking a bit of a break as i had a bit of a cold so my throat wasn't feeling the best and certainly just needed that time to recuperate and kind of plan out my future content here but we're back into the swing of things with theme deck tuesday here don't have a super great hand starting off with Soaring Storm, but I thought I would just start off going back into the content with a nice familiar deck that I have seen quite a bit on the channel so far. Sure, I've only done one video on it, I'm pretty sure, but we have played against it quite a lot as it is a very popular deck. And of course, we have to go in and play it again because it is so, so effective. Now, we do have a pretty nice start with the Pokemon Fan Club. It will give us that at the very least. It means we can grab ourselves the Alolan Grimer so we can start drawing cards for free. And then we also want to start taking some attackers here. I think we'll grab the Thunderous since of course our Tornadus is going to be weak to Lightning. And it looks like my deck that the opponent is playing is focused on Lightning attackers. We well, can at least attach an energy here though. We did get the retreat and now we can just draw two cards for eternity until we get all of the cards that we need of course now of course with the um, fusion strike coming out as well we'll have quite a bit of new cards to look at from the newest set so of course let me know if you have any deck suggestions or anything that you would like to see always feel free to leave a comment and let me know any of that good stuff we see my opponent also trying to draw cards here definitely makes sense good strategy from them and we go back over to us just wanting to draw more cards of course we do get our energy attachment down and we are drawing more energy as well which is reasonable but we don't have a lot else going on as we really need to find a supporter card so that we can draw through our deck a little bit better and hopefully get towards the evolution pokemon that we need in order to get some big attacks off and start trying to win this game we do pick up a decent attack well, not a decent attacker, but a decent Pokemon, as we do get a, another part, the Dragon Air, of the Dragonite line that we have in our hand here. But we do need that Dratini, the basic, in order to start going off on my opponent. And I'm quite happy here just to draw some more cards. We might start attacking on this following turn, since my opponent isn't doing too much. And we do find ourselves a How, so we can at least rely on that to draw cards now. And uh, I don't really mind going and using a Switch here. So that we can go into our thunderous and start dealing some big damage we do have this attack fully powered up of course it's going to be dealing 120 damage we do have to start damaging ourselves so that is the only downside of course and it's uh, certainly not ideal but it is going to be taking some easy prizes on my opponent here they do have an ultra ball in their deck which is very powerful it's going to allow them to search out any pokemon that they need Looks like they grabbed a Raticate here from the looks of things. Not the best Raticate overall, but uh, certainly a fun Pokemon to be using. Dirty Shock is the attack here for one colorless. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned and they get to discard all tool cards from the Divine Pokemon. But most theme decks don't really play a lot of tool cards and we certainly don't have any in this deck, which is not going to be an issue for us if my opponent tries to use that attack. They are going to be passing it back over to us though, they're struggling to draw cards here. We do get our Lantern down, which is a great Pokemon to have in play. It's going to keep our energy uh, in play and on the board, which is definitely what we want to see here. I think we could just start attacking though, like I said. We do have the attackers ready to go. My opponent is powering up here. This Kangaskhan could deal 100 damage, but it's not going to be enough to knock out our Thunderous here. So I feel quite content to just go in and switch into the Thunderous. We have our Lantern as well as backup, so we can start attaching there. And we'll go for the attack and get the knockout. I think we can deal 40 damage onto a Grimer. That seems reasonable. And we can take the first prize card of the game at long last don't think my opponent is going to be having a great couple of draws here since they do only have two cards in their hand. Sure they can go in with the Raticate Poison Oz which is going to be able to soften us up to get that knockout with their Benched Kangaskhan there. But that's perfectly fine as we have our Lantern like I said 
building that up to easily take enough out on what my opponent has. And we do pick up the Pokemon Fan Club, which is perfect as we can get out our basics now nice and easily. We do also have that communication so we can get ourselves a Pidgeotto as well. So that seems perfectly fine to me. I suppose if we really wanted to, we could have got the Tornadus, but this setup right here seems pretty decent. We can put in the Pidgeot, we're not going to be needing that right now, and we'll just use the communication to get a Pidgeotto and ultimately draw some more cards. So let's start off with that airmail, see what we get into. We get to get, to get a bug catcher, which is pretty nice. Don't really need another Pidgey since our board is full. So I'll certainly take the draw support as a big help there. We can attach a water energy onto the lantern, that seems fine. So it does attack for two lightning and a colorless. And we can take a knockout here on the Raticate. We also have to deal 40 damage. I'll just put that onto the lantern, that seems perfectly fine. I suppose we could have also done the Pidgeotto, but either Pokemon that we put on is going to be perfectly safe here, as my opponent does only have one attacker available. We do take that poison damage though, so like I said, they are going to be able to deal 100 damage and get the knockout on our Thunderous here, thanks to that poison weakening us up a little bit. But we have the lantern already set up, so we get to keep the energy from our Thunderous here, we'll be promoting our Lantern and it shows you the power of this deck as we didn't even need to get the Dragonite set up, all we had to do was set up two attackers and one of the attackers did essentially set itself up here as we just get to discard all of these energies, deal our 140 damage and easily get a knockout with the Lantern. Very simple and straightforward game there, my opponent was using a little bit of an older deck but that's alright, we'll take the win anyway and get into the next match. Going into this game, we're up against a Sun and Moon era deck, which is a pretty nice start here. We do have a Pokemon communication that I'm immediately going to play to get rid of this Tornadus, and that's going to allow us to get ourselves the Alolan Grimer once again. But oh man, we have prized both of them. There are two in the deck, and they have both went into the prizes. That is very unfortunate. I think we're going to have to rely on getting out our Dragonair instead here. Not super optimal, but it's all that we have going on at the moment. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have a lot going on either, but I know that their deck is going to take quite a while to get some of their evolution Pokemon out. And they do have the Delmise starting out in the active, which has got a 3 energy attack cost, so they certainly aren't going to be attacking with that anytime soon. They also benched a uh, Slowpoke here, so not quite sure what the attacks are on the Slowbro. We'll have to wait and see on that one. We are going to be passed back over to us, and we have the full Dragon Outline in our hand now, of course. So I'm quite content to just sit and draw cards. We'll start off with the How rather than the Bug Catcher, as that will get us more cards overall. And we do have the energy that we can start attaching onto the Tornadus here, along with the switch is going to allow us to move into that nice and easily. I will also put down the second Tornadus just as a backup attacker, and we can start swinging into this Delmise. Just a small bit of damage, 20 damage is nothing too crazy, but it will help to get it set up for these following turns here. My opponent does get the Cosmoam, so they're going to be looking to get the Stage 2, the Solgaleo I'm guessing, from the deck box here, and they do get a Temer Ball which gives them a single head, which is going to allow them to search out an evolution Pokemon from their deck, very helpful there in order to easily search out any evolution Pokemon that they need, very powerful card, did really like Temer Ball back in the Sun and Moon era, and there it is, there's the Metal Doggo, the Solgaleo, and they have that ready to go for this full one turn, but will it be a little too late as it does have some high attack costs? I mean, they do already have two energy on, but we have our Dragonite in play, which is all we're going to need here. We're going to attach to the active. We have a Cynthia that we can make use of to get a new hand here and try and find a bunch of energy. That's exactly what has happened. So we can easily attach two energies with our Dragonite. We can attach one onto the active in order to get a bunch of damage across my opponent's board and we can also put one onto the bench here 
and we're going to be hitting for 80 damage which is going to get us a little bit closer to getting that knockout and then on this following turn since we have a Pokemon fan club we will be able to find our Thunderous so we can start using the Tornadus to deal bench damage as well which is going to be excellent. The only downside of course is we are a little bit lacking in the energy department. It'd be great if we could find a little bit more energy but oh no my opponent has a switch ready to go with that Solgaleo so they're going to be able to start swinging into our Pokemon and dealing some big damage. It really has so been a very good couple of turns for my opponent. They got set up very quickly which is certainly something that you want to see with a deck like theirs. Almost tempted to use a bug catcher here to try and get a couple of energy in our hand really but I think we should be fine here since my opponent isn't doing a huge amount. We can take a turn to use Pokemon Fan Club here to get ourselves the Thunderous and I could also get a second Dragonite set up potentially. We have prized our other Dragonite though so we'll have to try and find that off of the prizes. Other option of course is just getting some air mails going so let's go with that for now. Oh of course the Dragonite's in my hand, what am I thinking? It's not in our prizes at all but that's alright. We'll still make use of air mail and that'll get us towards Dragonite at some point. Go ahead and use Dragonite here to attach some energies. See here my opponent has 160 HP so using two of the Tornadus attacking then we're going to be dealing a knockout over two turns here which is perfectly fine by me. That seems reasonable and we did get that thunderous down so we're going to be dealing 20 damage to the bench which does knock out that Delmise and we do find one of ever a lolling Grimer. So a little bit of a complicated turn but essentially we're working towards another attack with our benched uh, Tornadus here which is going to get the full effect from the thunderous being on the bench and it does only require one more energy which we should hopefully find off of this bug catcher. My plant does opt to knock out our active as well which definitely makes sense there. And we'll go for the bug catcher just finding two cars off the top unfortunately not getting the full effect there but that's all right we do have a single energy that we can make use of and I could also just shuffle in these energies but I think we'll hold on to that for now. Also put down another Pidgey in case we are able to find multiple Pidgeotto. And now we can take another knockout on my opponent's active Solgaleo. So they have no big attacking threat right here and they're going to be forced into a Pokemon that has zero energy on it as well. They do find another basic so they're not going to be losing on this following turn but really at this point what is there that my opponent can do? There's just not a lot and they don't even get an energy card down, just another basic Pokemon which is definitely not what they want to see. We can use our Dragonite though to attach these two energies and start setting up even more attackers on our board. Put them onto the Thunderous for now and then on the following turn we can always attach onto the Dragonite itself. But here we go, another knockout with our 80 damage and then 20 damage spread onto the bench so that we can easily set up and knock out if my opponent opts to get a stage 1 evolution here. If it does have 80 HP or I say not even 80, 100 HP then it should be fine to knock out. But as we can see my opponent has nothing else on so all we have to do is take a knockout here and we have easily sweeped up another victory with the Soaring Storm deck. Very effective and certainly these older decks as we are seeing, the Sun of an Era, not very effective at keeping up with the Soaring Storm deck. Let's get into one more match and see what we make happen. This time around we're up against the Rillaboom theme deck, certainly a favourite among the theme deck community here. So we'll have to see just how well we can do against this one as we are both going to be having a very similar strategy here where we spam a bunch of energy onto the board and then look to deal some big damage with some varied attackers. I mean my opponent does have the Rillaboom as well as Snorlax, so both big HP Pokemon with big attacks, whereas our focus is going to be purely on basic Pokemon with the Thunders and Tornado, so though we do have some other options available as well. We do have a very good starting hand here though, as we do have the full Dragonite line in our hand once again. 
just really shows you the consistency of this deck. But even if we didn't have that, we do start with a Pokemon Fan Club, which is going to allow us to get a Grimer this time around. Not prized, which is very good to see. And we can also get out a, another Pokemon. I'm not quite sure what we want to go for here. Probably the Tornadus. And then we can look to get out the Thunders as well when we have that opportunity available. We are going to be down an energy attachment unfortunately as we haven't found one for this turn and we have lost the one that we used on the first turn but that's quite alright as we do have our Dragonite here as well as a bunch of supporter cards to make use of so not feeling too worried about it. My opponent does have the Grookey that they're slowly powering up here looking for that Rillaboom so that they can start dealing some big damage on their end. The two hits for 20 damage, which is going to be a significant amount considering we have 80 HP. And we do get our Dragonite down so we can start putting on some of this energy. Definitely want to attach both of these and put it onto the Tornadus here. And we'll be looking for our Thunderous so that we can start doing some spread damage as well. And we'll start off with the Lily. I think we will play down the Tornadus, that seems fine. And we can maximise the amount of cards that we're drawing here. We do find some energies which is decent, but really I am just looking for that Thunderous. We'll go for another Collecto with our Grimer, see what we draw into, and we could do get into another energy which is great for this following turn. So we can use that Dragonite, attach both of these energy, potentially onto Dragonite itself, but we see here my opponent is going to be switching out. They see that we have an attacker ready to go, so they're wanting to protect that Grookey and try and find the Rillaboon if possible. And my opponent scoops it up, they don't want to deal with us anymore. It really shows you the threat the Dragonite puts on with the amount of early pressure we have. Attaching energies like that every single turn is just too much pressure for most theme decks and my opponent certainly felt that as they didn't want to play anymore. So hopefully you enjoyed this one, shows off just the main reasons why this deck is so powerful and deserving to be within the top 10 of all theme decks recently and it is certainly for good reason. Hopefully you enjoyed this video either way and I'll see you in the next one.